as we get set for a Super Bowl 48 rematch. It's the Broncos and the Seahawks, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. From the picturesque Pacific Northwest and the city of Seattle, welcome inside Lumen Field, where all the 12s make it at home for the Seahawks. It's the start of a new season in the NFL. Welcome to our first Sunday of 2024 with football. Mike Tirico, my partner this year, Greg Olson. Greg, so excited to be with you and so excited about week one. You build it up, you talk about it for six months, but when it arrives, man, it feels so good. And it's really the only week of the entire season, Mike, where all 32 teams are all dreaming the same thing. Playoffs, Super Bowl hopes. This was the best offseason any of them have ever had. And on top of that, it's the excitement and the hope in these stadiums. Every fan base in the NFL thinks that this is their year, and week one's getting off to a hot start. And I know both you and I are looking forward to being along for the ride. Here comes the Seattle offense to take over for the first time. They're led by their quarterback, the second round pick out of Kentucky, Will Levis. Mike, as I think back to opening day over my years of playing in the NFL, it didn't matter if I was a rookie or going into my 14th season. I think every player goes into that game with just a little bit of extra nerves, thinking, all right, new season, new opportunity. Can I still do this at a high level? And Man, you get through that first game, and it feels like you can finally take a deep breath and let the season unfold. It's going to be a lot of nerves in this one here today, but the team that settles down the fastest and just gets back to playing ball, they're going to have a big advantage coming away with a big win today. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Whoa, whoa. And he will have the Seahawks first down. He'll have it by plenty. It was third and two. They picked up eight. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. That is incomplete. He was trying to fit that one into Mike Evans. And it's going to bring up a third down. Here we go. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And this ball incomplete on third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Here comes the Denver offense set to take over for the first time. Number one overall pick in 2016 leads him out, Greg. It's quarterback Jared Goff. There's just something special about week one, isn't it, Mike? I mean, after months of anticipation, speculation, it finally hits you, the season has arrived. This is the first time where we're going to get to see a lot of the debuts of players on new teams, new coaches, rookies taking the field for the very first time in a meaningful game. Devon Achan! And he is gone! 75 yards! Touchdown, Denver! Well, that's a way to start a drive. He takes it all the way to the house. I don't know what they were talking about on the last series, but they've come out on this series, Greg, with the right answer for the touchdown. And, Mike, the reason a lot of teams start off drives with the run play is to allow themselves to operate ahead of the chains. Well, not this guy. He found the alley, he took it, and he's off to the races for six. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air, and this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned, so it'll come out to the 30. The Seahawks' offense ready to get going with their second possession. 
They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, it's Levis. Down the field, it's Evans. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Here's first and ten. Off the play pick, it's Levis. That's to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. Whoa. And they will finally catch up to him and get him down. Still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Now Levis. It's complete to Evans. And he will score. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Seattle. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Extra point by Pinheiro is good. And the Seahawks will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. We're all tied, seven apiece. And the kick's away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Broncos offense and running back to about eight chance. Drive will start on the ground. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. On first down, it's Goff. Thrown left side, the catch is made. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. They'll run with a chance. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. On play action. Goff. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. He'll try and run it here. It's AJ. Now a loose football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. So, first quarter in the books here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. All even on the scoreboard. Greg and I back in the Great Northwest in a moment. Space getting tight here. Down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. Here's a give to HN. And he's in. Devon HN. Touchdown, Denver. What a start to the year. His second touchdown in this opening half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And we're just getting started. The extra point by Aubrey is good. 
And the Broncos will move out to a 14-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense and veteran receiver Mike Evans getting set for this drive. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Oh, no chance to get rid of that one. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. They'll send a tight end in motion. I'll uh, give up the middle with Swift. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Here's Levis. That one into the hands of Jefferson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They will run it over center with Swift. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. They go play action with Levis. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. I fumbled the football, but this is taken in by a teammate. After these kind of plays, Mike, you just wish the sideline was a mile away because you know when you get there, you are going to catch an earful. They stress all week, ball carriers, we have to protect the ball. In this case, it doesn't result in a turnover, but the lost yardage now brings up fourth down. These are drive killers. Here's Johnny Hecker now. He'll be looking for something a little better than that first effort, which he shanked. To return, it is Turpin. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Broncos offense and they're running back. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Throwing, Goff. Now a screen set up for HN. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Just seems nowadays, Mike, there's so many running backs in the NFL that you can classify as being dual threats. Of course, we see them every week make their impact on the ground. But here in the first half, it's his ability in the passing game and do bulk of his damage as a receiving threat. On the handoff, this is HN. Call it a gain of 13. First down, Broncos. From the gun, it's got. And he'll just get rid of this. Smart play to throw it away. And that'll set up second down. Back to the air, it's got. He'll get rid of it and complete it. First catch for him. Mike McDonald, not a huge fan of that Biggest last call, and he will throw the challenge flat. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules.
So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. Offside. Defense. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We're back to Seattle after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. Right back to Williams. They connect again. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. At the very least, got to come away with some points. From the two now, here's second and goal. Goff. Hill. Touchdown, Broncos. <laughs> On for the PAT is Aubrey. He's got it. And the Broncos will take a 21-7 lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They trail by that's two touchdowns, team, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. His fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. Levis. He's got a receiver, Alan Lazar. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. He bought as much time as he could, but he will finally be taken down. Third down and nine. Like 54. To throw is Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And he'll get a few yards on this return. A pass the 15-yard line. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. Goff to throw. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. 
We'll get started up at Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, where it was the Bengals who were able to pick up the victory at home. Anthony Richardson with three touchdown passes in the week one victory. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. David Montgomery, two touchdown runs to lead the way. Finally, let's get down to the Bayou to check on the Saints at home at the Caesar Superdome. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Joe Burrow with three touchdown passes in the week one victory. It was Devon Achan who's had the strong first half. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks Both yet to come. Ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here's Turpin. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Broncos offense and their running back. Set to go now on first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's a chance. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Once again, it's a chance. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Third and five. To throw is gone. That's taken in by HN. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. The Broncos bringing out their puncher. Wallace now on the return. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. Like 54! Hunt! 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 Levis to throw on first and 10. We'll try to set up the screen here to Swift. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. At the 19 yard line. A second down throw here for Levis. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Seahawks' 20-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. A really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. First carry now for the veteran, Jarek McKinnon. And he'll take this ahead for a gain of about five. And here comes third down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. 
And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Swift. Down to the four. It'll be second and goal. One more time. They try Swift. That play may have taken a little bit too long to develop. It's no gain. He's back at the four-yard line. Third and goal. They'll try to run with Swift. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This has been quite the drive. Three points would kind of feel like a letdown, so they're going to go for it here on fourth and goal. That one, take it in. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Seahawks. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Extra point by Pinheiro is good. And the Seahawks draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Now return, coming from the seven. He'll get across the 20, mark him down 23-yard line. LaBarco's offense, ready to get back at it. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. The Seahawks scoop it up. And he is going to bring this one back. It is a fumble recovery for a defensive touchdown. And Greg, so frustrating for the receiver. With the catch, ready to gain some yards. Instead, it goes back the other way. And the defense comes away with a touchdown. Yeah, catching the ball, Mike, is just step one of the process. After you catch it, you have to put it away and become a ball carrier. And that's where ball security kicks in. In this case, he makes a nice catch, tries to get his eyes downfield to run. They're able to knock the ball out. That leads to the turnover, which leads to six points. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? Yeah. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. This one tight throughout. All level at 21 as they'll search for a go-ahead score. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. Here's Goff. This one complete to Hill. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Throwing here is Goff. Right back to Hill. He's got it again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. To throw is gone. He'll throw it left and has his running back. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Two for one, two for one. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Good running there. He's got the first down inside the 30. Now Goff to the left side in the hands of Hill. They'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Now Goff. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just... So they come to the line for first down and 10. Oh, no, no. What are you reading? Right. Off the play fake. It's Levin. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the sack. It's a loss of eight. Brings up second and 18 at the nine-yard line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. What? On the bootleg, it's Levis. The rush gets there. He goes down back inside the five-yard line. So after surrendering their sixth sack of the game, I looked down on the sideline, Mike, and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, I don't blame him. His unit has been getting worked up front all day in pass protection. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. The Seahawks sending out their punt team. Important punt here in this tie game late. Accelerating toward midfield. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitor's offense ready to get back out. They'll drop to throw. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. The game is there for the taking. They control their own destiny, but this brings up a really big third down here. But remember, they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks. Even if they come up short, they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. From the gun, it's gone. That's right side and brought in by Williams. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. They'll come up for first and ten. Now it's AJ. Not much room to speak of. He'll take this to the 11. Now Seattle will use the final timeout. Get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to go in this one. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. The Twelves making noise in Seattle before third down. Cut. 
They'll power ahead with Ham, the fullback. And they'll get the timeout call here. It comes with just one second left on the clock. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This to win the game. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So, it is a win for the visiting Broncos. They move to 1-0, getting the victory to begin the new campaign. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.